now that you've defined and structured data for your report, you have to get it in the hands of the people that need it. So there are basically three ways to get a report into someone's hands. You can manually generate a report, you can schedule reports to run at regular in intervals, or you can generate a report on some event, like something happening in the PLC. So let's look at each one of those delivery options. So you can manually generate a report uh, in a client or application. You can fill in the data and the parameters and you'll get back a report that you can print that uh, right there on the fly. You can, uh, the use case would be that someone requests a report that they can get quickly because of some urgent or special need. So here's how you would manually generate a report in, Ig in Ignition. Now this time I'm actually going to go to our client instead of our designer. And you can see I have that same tag history report. Once you're in the client, uh, and you go to a report page, you'll remember that we had a specific date range set up. I can adjust this however I'd like. And if you right click, you can see you get several different options here. So um, I can go and print out the report or I can save it as any of these three different types. So if a user wants a specific report right away, then they can just go into the client and grab it. Uh, the automatic reports are scheduled at a set recurring time something like every hour, day, week, month, whatever you'd like. Uh, they're set to run automatically at the same time, so nobody needs to take any action to get the report. And this is the delivery model you'd use when you're going to need the same info at the same time on a consistent basis. For example, if you need a report every workday at 5 p.m., so you know how your operations perform for the day. Once the report has been scheduled for automatic delivery, we have to select how it will be delivered. Usually reports are emailed to someone or printed, saved to a server, maybe uploaded to a website, or we can use some combination of these methods. So here's how to make automatic reports in Ignition. Again, I'm going to go back into my designer here. And then if I go back to my tag history report, then over on the right, uh, up at the top of the screen, we have this schedule tab. And on the schedule tab, you get to set up however many schedules you'd like to go and do whatever you want. For example, here, we've got one new schedule and just click on the little plus icon on the far right, adds a new schedule here, and then you can select whatever rate you want it to run at. In this case, I've chosen twice per day, 0, 12, star, star, star. And what that means is at midnight and noon. And you can see there's lots of different options with the words here for you. Or if you want to, you can choose a custom one. And if you choose custom, or if you come and modify any of these values, then it'll automatically flip to custom. And you can see here that we have the minutes, we have uh, two different hours of the day, and then every day, every month, every day. Once you have your schedule set up, you can come over to the parameters tab here, and you can see here that we have the three different parameters for this report, that same start date, end date, and title and we're just using the default values for them. So I believe that was five minutes worth of data. Or you can uncheck these and then put in whatever expression that you want using the standard ignition expression language. Once you've got your parameters set up uh, based on your schedules there, I can click over to my action tab and you can see here we have this save file action. Now if you click on the little plus icon here, you can see we have a whole bunch of them. You can print the report right? send it to an actual printer on the system. You can FTP it, you can save it to a hard drive somewhere, which could be a shared drive if you wanted to. You can email it, or you can do this run script, which is just a script where you can do anything you want. For example, here on save file, I'm going to save to a folder that's called Ignition Reports on the C drive, and that's actually on um, the computer Ignition's installed on. And then I'm going to save it using this format for my file name, so whatever the report name is, plus add some date information. And then over on the far right hand side here, we have all the different formats, right? So we have PDF, HTML, CSV, all that, all that information so that you can save in whatever format you'd like. And of course, some of those formats make sense um, for some reports and some of them don't. Right? For example, CSV doesn't make sense to use that one if you have a graph, uh, but PDF is fantastic if you have pictures in your report. So the third type of reports here, uh, are those that are triggered when an event occurs in the PLC. And these are also called event-based reporting. So for example, the report will run when triggered by an event such as a tag change, a shift change, finishing a production run, or whatever you'd like. Uh, 
Uh, as with the automatic reports, we have to specify how we want the triggered reports to be delivered, whether by emailing, printing, saving, uploading, whichever. As an example of a triggered report, let's say you're ma manufacturing widgets. Uh, you're putting widgets into a box, and once the box is full, the PLC knows it and says, I'm done. It presents a WIP or a work in progress label automatically. So someone just gets the label, slaps it on the box, and the box continues on its way. That WIP label was generated automatically based on the event of the box getting filled. Right? No one has to push a button at the right time to make a label. Uh, another example would be that uh, some event occurs and then it emails the report. So let me show you how to set up triggered reports in Ignition. So I'm going to pop back over to the designer again. And then you can see here I have my tag browser and I have this report trigger tag. Now this could be anything that you want, but for simplicity I've made it a memory tag. And if I right click and edit this tag, you can see that it's got a tag event script on it. And if I go to my value change script, you can see here every time the value of this tag changes, it's going to go and execute this script. So it's a pretty simple script. The important part here is we have this system.report.execute and distribute. We give it the path, right? It's the name of the report in this case, which project the report's a part of, what action we want. So I want to save it, and then some action settings. And the action settings change depending on the action, right? You don't need an email address if you're saving, but you do if you're emailing. So here we have the path that we're sending it to, what file name I want to use, and what format we're going to use. And that's it. All we have to do is just trigger this tag to change a value, and then it'll go and save off um, the report.